Look at this question here. A string ABCD attached to two fixed points A and D has two weights 1500 Newton and W each attached at B and C respectively. If the inclinations of the string at different places is shown in the figure as shown in the figure, find the tensions in the portions A, B, B, C, C, D in the string. And of course, it is not asked there, but we can as well find the weight W hanged here. Now, let us consider the point B, which is under the action of three forces. So one is the weight, the other is the tension in the wire and tension in the wire B, C. So let us represent the forces, the weight acting downwards, whose value is 1500 Newton. And let the tension in this wire is a pull T1 and the tension in this wire is a pull to the right T2. So these are the three forces here. And now let us go and think about the angles here between the forces. If I extend this line up, we know this is 70 degrees, so the remaining is equal to 110 degree. This is 45 here, so we understand this is also 45. And since this is 45, total is 180, so 180 minus 45, the remaining angle is going to be 135. So we know all the angles here. Now let us go for the second junction here. In a single wire, the tension is always equal at the two ends and given by two inward arrows. So if you take tension T2 here, you should not take this as T3. It should be equal to T2. So it has to be T2, but inwards away from C to the left hand side. Let the tension in the other wire is T3, which is a pull towards D from C to D and the weight is unknown that is W. So these are again three forces keeping the particle in equilibrium. So let us uh, represent the angles here. If you extend this line here, this angle is 60. So this is going to be 60. So if you understand 60 and this is from this, you can make out this is a Z here. So this is 70 means this angle also is going to be 70. Total is 180 out of which 70. So remaining angle is 110. This is 60, so remaining angle is 120. So we know all the angles at the two junctions. So we can just apply Lamy's theorem the easiest way here because only three forces are keeping a particle in equilibrium. So if you consider uh, the point B and apply Lamy's theorem there, if you take the first force T1, you know Lamy's theorem is each force upon sine of the opposite angle or angle between the other two forces is E constant. So here T1 upon sine of opposite angle 70 is equal to T2 upon sine of opposite angle 150 is equal to W1500 upon sine of opposite angle 100 plus 110 plus 45 that is 155. So this is the relation and of course you know here both are knowns so take the first and the last and equate you will be getting T1 value approximately that much and equate this and this and simplify you get T2 value. Okay? So if you solve it whatever value you get is the right answer. So we got T1 T2. Since we got T2 here, the same T2 acts here to the left hand side. So this T2 will act as a known force here because other two forces are unknown. T3 is unknown, W is unknown. Unless you calculate T2, you cannot get T3. That's why we started from this end where the weight is known. If you start doing the problem with this end, then all three are unknown. So you will not be able to find out. So let us go with the side where known forces are there. Here W is known, here it's unknown. Now we apply the same Lamy's theorem to the point C. Once again, each force by the sine of the opposite angle. If you take the first force as T2, T2 upon sine 120 is equal to T3 upon sine of this. For this, this is the angle. This angle is 110. T3 upon sine 110 is equal to W upon sine of this plus this is uh, sine 130 because it's 60 plus 70 is 130. So again, T2 is known. You can make use of this T2 here. I have not substituted, but you can take this here. So both are known. So equating this and this, this unknown can be estimated. Similarly, equating this and this, the W can also be estimated. So this is how we can apply Lamy's theorem at the two junctions and find out the unknown forces in the strings as well as the unknown weight to be attached at the other point.